Welcome to Biomedical Engineers TV. This is the second part of the ultrasound machine series. We will look into ultrasound probes in ultrasound machines. First, let's know about types of scanning done in ultrasound imaging. The most common scan used for abdominal studies is the linear scan. A linear scan is when the ultrasonic transducer remains parallel to the surface of the object being examined, and the sound beam is perpendicular to the transducer movement. A linear scan is when the ultrasonic transducer remains parallel to the surface of the object being examined, and the sound beam is perpendicular to the transducer movement. Only the location of the transducer is changed, but the angle of the beam is held constant. The most common scan used in echocardiography is the sector scan. The second type is where the scan is made by rocking the transducer about a fixed point such that the sound beam covers a sector. Compound scanning. And third is merely a combination of linear and sector scans. Let's know about linear sequential arrays transducers. The scanning lines are directed perpendicular to the face of the transducer. The beam is focused but not steered. Linear array transducers are available with 512 elements in currently available ultrasound scanners. Generally, up to 128 elements are selected at a time for operation. As is obvious from the diagram, the field of view with a linear array arrangement is limited to the rectangular region directly in front of the transducer. Let's see about curved linear arrays transducers. A curved linear array scans a wider field of view because of the convex arrangement of the array elements. Curved linear or convex arrays operate in the same manner as the linear arrays and therefore even in this case, scan lines are directed perpendicular to the transducer face. The third type of array transducers are linear phased array transducers. The arrangement of the elements is similar to the linear sequential arrays, but the scanner steers the ultrasound beam through a sector-shaped region in the azimuth plane. The present linear phased array systems have up to 128 elements, and all the elements are used to transmit and receive each line of data. This arrangement has the advantage that the scanned region is much wider than the footprint of the transducer, thus making them suitable for scanning through restricted acoustic windows, such as in the case of cardiac imaging, wherein the transducer has to look through a small window to avoid the obstructions of the ribs and lungs. And the fourth type of array transducers are two-dimensional phased arrays. A two-dimensional phased array has elements in both the azimuth and elevation planes. Therefore, two-dimensional arrays can focus and steer the acoustic beam in both dimensions, thereby to produce a volumetric image. Let's know about types of transducers used in ultrasound machines for different applications. Let's begin with straight linear array probes. The straight linear array probe is designed for superficial imaging. The crystals are aligned in a linear fashion within a flat head and produce sound waves in a straight line. The image produced is rectangular in shape. The probe has higher frequencies, 5 to 13 megahertz, which provides better resolution and less penetration. Therefore, this probe is ideal for imaging superficial structures and in ultrasound guided procedures. Second type of probes are convex probes. The convex ultrasound transducer type is also called the curved transducer because the piezoelectric crystal arrangement is curvilinear. Moreover, the beam shape is convex, see picture below and the transducer is good for in-depth examinations, even though the image resolution decreases when the depth increases. The footprint, frequency and applications 
also depend on whether the product is for 2D or 3D imaging. The convex transducer for 2D imaging has a wide footprint and its central frequency is 2.5 MHz to 7.5 MHz. You can use it for abdominal examinations, transvaginal and transrectal examinations, and diagnosis of organs. The third type of probe is cardiac probe. There is an interesting aspect of cardiac imaging that has had a profound effect on the nature of the probes. Due to the presence of the ribs and other acoustically hostile tissue in the ray path, echocardiography suffers from imaging artifacts due to reverberant noise. The introduction of harmonic imaging has proven to be highly successful in reducing this noise. As a consequence, the importance of transducer bandwidth has become critical in cardiac transducer design. Today, most cardiac systems transmit at frequencies between 1.5 and 2.0 MHz and, of course, receive signals at frequencies twice that range. Next is transvaginal curved probe. A pelvic ultrasound is a non-invasive diagnostic exam that produces images that are used to assess organs and structures within the female pelvis. A pelvic ultrasound allows quick visualization of the female pelvic organs and structures, including the uterus, cervix, vagina, fallopian tubes, and ovaries. Ultrasound uses a transducer that sends out ultrasound waves at a frequency too high to be heard. The ultrasound transducer is placed on the skin, and the ultrasound waves move through the body to the organs and structures within. The sound waves bounce off the organs like an echo and return to the transducer. The transducer processes the reflected waves which are then converted by a computer into an image of the organs or tissues being examined. Let's know about transesophageal echocardiography probes. Transesophageal echocardiography, TEE, is a test that produces pictures of your heart. TEE uses high frequency sound waves, ultrasound, to make detailed pictures of your heart and the arteries that lead to and from it. Unlike a standard echocardiogram, the echo transducer that produces the sound waves for TEE is attached to a thin tube that passes through your mouth, down your throat and into your esophagus. Because the esophagus is so close to the upper chambers of the heart, very clear images of those heart structures and valves can be obtained. At last, but not the least, is pencil probes. Pencil transducers, pictured below on the right, also called CW Doppler probes, are utilized to measure blood flow and speed of sound in blood. This probe has a small footprint and uses low frequencies, typically 2 MHz to 8 MHz. Furthermore, there is the endocavitary ultrasound transducer type. These probes provide you with the opportunity to perform internal examinations of the patient. Therefore, they are designed to fit in specific body orifices. The endocavitary transducers include endovaginal, endorectal and endocavity transducers. Typically, they have a small footprint and the frequency varies in the range of 3.5 MHz to 11.5 MHz. At the end, let's finish the video with some information regarding 3D and 4D ultrasound probe information. The key difference between 2D and 3D echocardiography is that 2D provides flat views of the heart, while 3D and 4D is based on real-time volumetric imaging providing a realistic anatomic display from virtually any desired perspective. 2D transducers are arranged in a 1D array 
which can acquire cross-sectional 2D images using piezoelectric elements, ceramics or single crystals. The most widely available type of 3D transducer is the mechanical transducer, which is low cost and achieves state-of-the-art image quality, although it cannot produce images in real time. 4D transducers are matrix array transducers, which generate an ultrasound pulse diverging from the array in a pyramid shape and produce high quality images in real time. This technology is used in obstetrics only for the evaluation of the fetal heart and adult echocardiography. Hope you loved the information about ultrasound probes in this video. Next video, we will know about modes in ultrasound machines. Thanks for watching Biomedical Engineers TV. See you guys in the next video.